Zoom Line 4.0 batching plant become more popular and famous nowadays. Customers prefer to Zoom Line because it can create value for customers with lower cost and higher quality. So, what are the debugging contents of the batching plant? Now take HZS180 for example. We will explain 8 aspects one by one as follows. First, gas supply system debugging, air compressor. A. Inch start the air compressor and ensure the rotation is normal and positive. B. The air compressor works normally after running 2 minutes. And check the gauge and alarm device. If your alarm with the air prefer is lower than 0.4 MPa. Pneumatic valve debugging. Adjust pressure of each pneumatic valve. Starting and main control room air pressure at 0.5 MPa. Shutdown pressure is 0.8 MPa. Arch braking pressure is 0.3 MPa. Batching machine pressure is 0.6 MPa. And the air pressure of the main engine is 0.1 MPa. Second, main mixer debugging. A. Emergency switch debugging. Start the main mixer when the circuit breaker is disconnected. Then press the emergency switch and check if the mixer can stop automatically. Continue pressing the emergency switch and check whether the main mixer can be started. Before the next debugging, repeat a few more times to ensure the emergency switch is normal. B. Safety gate debugging. Open and close the safety gate several times and check the main mixer operations. Normal, main mixer stop when the gate is open. On the contrary, main mixer works when the gate is closed. C. Mixing motor debugging. Connect a circuit breaker of number 1 motor. Turn the start delta switch to the start position, inching to start the motor, and check whether the rotate direction of reducer belt is consistent with the direction on the mark. Otherwise, we need to change the phase sequence. Turn the start delta switch to the delta position, inching to start the motor, and check whether the rotate direction of reducer belt is consistent with the direction on the mark or change the phase sequence. And finally, turn the star delta switch to the start position and start the motor to see if the star delta conversion can be performed automatically. Debug number two motor in the same way. Connect the circuit breakers of number one and number two motor after debugging respectively. Start them and check whether the two motors are working normally at the same time. D. Lubrication motor debugging. Check the rotation direction of the lubrication pump and whether the lubrication pump can stop and start automatically. E. Discharge gate debugging. Open and close the discharge gate manually, then inching to control the discharge gate and check the movement. F. Limited switch of discharge gate debugging. Adjust the position of limited switch according to the indicator lamp on the operation panel and the actual position of discharge port. 7. Dust collector of main machine debugging. Inching to start the dust collector and adjust the rotate direction of motor. 3. Inclined belt motor debugging. First of all, check whether the reducer is assembled correctly and ensure that the reducer is filled with gear oil and the tightness of triple belt is reasonable. A. Sway switch debugging. Disconnect the circuit breaker of the inclined belt. Start the inclined belt and check whether it can stop when we operate the sway switch. The display will also show that inclined belt emergency. Attention, we need to test both upper and lower sway switches. B. Belt deviation switch debugging. Disconnect the circuit breaker of the inclined belt and start the inclined belt. Check whether there is an alarming and the belt can stop movement automatically when we operate the switch slowly. C. Inclined belt star delta conversion debugging. Connect the circuit breaker and turn the switch to star position. Start the engine and adjust the phase sequence until the belt moves. Turn the switch to delta position and adjust the phase sequence of the delta connection until the belt moves. D. Inclined belt debugging. There are four common ways to deal with the belt running off. First, adjust the stretching device. If the tightness on both sides of the belt is different, 
the belt always runs to one side accordingly. So we need to adjust the screw or counterweight of the stretching device. If the belt is loose, adjust the stretching device. Second, adjust the roller support. Adjust the roller support when the belt runs off in the middle of the conveyor. The specific method is to which side of the belt is biased. Move the same side of the roller support toward the running direction of the belt accordingly. Third, adjust the reversing roller. The method is similar with roller adjustment. For the drive drum at the end, if the belt deviates to the right side of the drum, the bearing pedestal on the right should move forward. Otherwise, the bearing pedestal on the left should move forward. Fourth, assemble limited vertical roller. On the rack, install vertical rollers on the deviated side which the belt runs to. In this way, the belt can be forced to reset. On the other hand, the vertical rollers can reduce the tension of the belt on the side of the deviation and make the tape move to the other side. Fourth, batching machine debugging. First, motor rotation debugging. Connect the circuit breaker and inch star to belt and adjust the rotate direction of motor. Second, vibration motor debugging. Inching the vibration motor respectively and ensure that the vibration motor, button, and running diagram keep corresponding. Third, movement of gate debugging. Open the ball valve of batching machine and adjust the air pressure of the two air tanks to 0.6 MPa. Check the condition of each door. Fourth, skill door positioning debugging. Ensure that the sequence of the aggregate bins and the skill doors in the operation diagram corresponds to the fact. Fifth, skill door limitation debugging. Ensure that indicator light of sensor work normally. Pay attention to fixing the sensor in the middle area when adjusting the position of the sensor. Say, flat belt debugging. There are two ways to debug the belt deviation. First, adjust the stretching device at the end to make the fourth on both sides of belt as uniform. Second, adjust the upper and lower roller groups to be parallel. Fifth, liquid supply system debugging. First, add mixer pump debugging. Start the add mixer pump and ensure that the rotate direction is correct. Or we need to adjust the phase sequence of motor. Second, water pump debugging. Start the water pump and ensure that the rotate direction is correct or we need to adjust the phase sequence of motor. Third, the scale door of add mixer debugging. Firstly, open the gate of mixer and adjust the pressure of pneumatic triple pulse to 0.5 MPa. Control the movement of the add mixer scale door and pay attention to whether the external scale door can be opened flexibly. Then close the add mixture scale door and check whether the limit position of add mixture scale door is normal. All we need to check whether the wiring of relay is reversed. Fourth, admixture accurate skill door debugging. Control the movement of admixture accurate skill door and check whether the action is normally. Fifth, water skill door debugging. If the water skill door can open automatically after ventilation, the reversing valve of the cylinder needs to be adjusted. Close the water skill door and keep the position correctly. Or we need to check whether the wiring of relay is reversed. Sixth, water accurate skill door debugging. Control the movement of water accurate skill door and check whether the action is normally. Sixth, power skill debugging. First, auger machine of power debugging. Before start the auger machine at the first time, open the discharge port of the spiral tube directly, which is below the manual butterfly valve of the power silo. At the same time, open the manual butterfly valve and hit the powder silo for several times with a hammer in order to prevent the welding slag in the power silo from entering the spiral tube, which will cause the spiral tube stuck. Start the motor and check the rotate direction. Second, powder vibration motor debugging. Start the vibration motor of powder skill and check whether the motor works normally to ensure that the operation diagram corresponds to the actual situation. Third, powder skill door debugging. Operate the door and check whether it moves normally. Then, ensure the level of butterfly valve by fine and coerce adjustment. Adjust the limit position of powder skill during the closed situation. We need to check whether the wiring of relay is reversed if the gate move abnormally. 
Finally, the state of pointer should be consistent with the actual state of the scale door. 7th, Intermediate Hoppers and Powder Beans Debugging First, Intermediate Hoppers Debugging Inching the gait of the intermediate hopper and check whether it can move normally and adjust the limit switch according to the actual position of gate of intermediate hopper. Second, vibrator of powder beans debugging. Inching the vibration motor respectively and ensure that motors are normal and correspond to the switches correctly. Third, arch braking device of powder debugging. Adjust the air pressure of the air control box to 0.2 mpa to 0.3 mpa and open the air pipe of each powder bin. Then inching the arc braking switch according to the sequence of powder bin. Depend on the sound of blowing, we can check whether the air pipe is correspond to each switch correctly or we need to change the air pipeline. Fourth, bell debugging. Press the bell button, check whether the bell can work normally. Fifth, monitor debugging. Connect the monitoring system and open the monitoring software. Check whether the images are clear, the color is normal, and the camera position is correct. Eighth, the specific steps are as follows. First, clear the skill which is need to be calibrated in order to eliminate external interference. Second, select one skill and click clear. Remark, it's better to clear clear again after hanging it if there's a weight track. Third, if the display shows zero after the weight or goose loading on the scale, please make an initialization and clear the scale and eliminate the interference, then click clear. Fourth, after clearing, load the weight gradually to the maximum. Make a record for the weight and the data showing on the display accordingly. Check whether the curve changes conform to the linear regularity. Remark, the maximum weight of weights does not exceed 80% of the sensor range and cannot be lower than the maximum formula dosage of production. Fifth, after the weight is added to the maximum and the data is stable, fill the weight value into volume accordingly, then click calibration. At this time, the skill has been calibrated. Sixth, after the calibration, add weights or remove some weights. Fill weight value into the corresponding column and the table when the data is stable. Then click Inspection to double approval the result of calibration. Seventh, after inspection, gradually remove the weights from the skill and check whether the indication line conform to the linear regularity. Eighth, if the indication does not change linearly during the calibration, we should check the failures. For example, the mechanical failures, sensor model, external interference, and so on. After dealing with the failures, make a calibration again. Attention, the scale must be recalibrated when one of the following situations occurs. First, the control system is installed for the first time, or the system replacement or upgrade. Second, sensors, terminal boxes, transmitters, PLCs, and other components of metering system replacement or maintenance. Third, the mechanical structure of the wing body has changed comparing with the previous calibration. Fourth, no production for 15 days continually. Zoomline 4.0 batching plant with advanced technology and stable performance shows that Zoomline's innovative spirit of pursuing outstanding products. All of Zoomline's service engineers will uphold the ingenuity spirit and will continue to surpass themselves and create greater value.